Hi, it's Mr. Callahan here at the SJCUE Fab Lab with a robot and some code. This code is designed to help traverse a maze. Uh, essentially, what it's doing is powering the motors. Uh, let's look at our code here. I have all of this tied to an event. When the A button is pressed, we have the car driving forward with a speed of 93 for about three quarters of a second, 750 milliseconds. That's the first stretch. It stops only momentarily. Um, and then it rotates to the right, moves forward a little bit, to the right for a little while, moves forward a little bit here for about half a second, and then turns a little bit more and stops momentarily. Now that's it doing a U-turn. And then it goes forward some more for 600 milliseconds or about, about half a second, a little bit more than half a second. Okay, so what this code, uh, what we do with this code is we download it uh, to the micro bit. We're gonna turn on uh, the micro bit robot here uh, to supply it enough power to get these wheels going. Uh, and then we're gonna put it on the maze uh, with the maze on the floor. We're also gonna make sure uh, that we have on safety goggles. And if you hit the A button, it's gonna start uh, its program and start traversing the maze. If you don't make it all the way through, don't worry about it. Try to get as far as you can. Um, don't feel bad if it takes several times. Uh, I, I think just to get the first couple parts of the maze, oh, it's quite a few times for me. So uh, it's gonna take some time, but that's all right. It's a part of the engineering design process. Uh, iterative design, right? We recognize a problem, namely some part of the maze that you're, you're trying to solve. Uh, we come up with a solution, our code, and then we test it out by having the, the robot to drive it, okay? Uh, don't worry about being perfect. Uh, if it goes over a line a little bit, that's okay. Uh, we're, we're gonna keep working at it, we're gonna have fun. Our robot is programmed to traverse this maze. Uh, so far we've just programmed it for this first and second leg of the maze. Uh, it should start when you press the A button. Uh, if it's not perfect, you know, if it, if it goes over a line a little bit, that's okay, don't worry about it. Let's give it a try. Awesome. Okay, go ahead, uh, edit the program, and see how far you can get your robot through the maze. Have fun.